I'm always scouring the internet for recipes. I'm always reading books. And David's a good, a big fan of sweet and sour. Now, personally, it's not one of my favourites. I don't like fruit in my, in my food. So I found an alternative which will keep us both happy. And it's sweet and sour pepper pork. And it's off a, res off a website called All Recipes. And I'll give you the link to it. So I've browned my pork off and that's set aside. And in my pan, I've got onion, pepper and garlic and salt. Now the recipe I've chosen, I've halved everything because it, this is for to feed four people. And there's only two of us. So I've halved it. So in my peppers and my onions, I'm adding sugar and a tablespoon of plain flour. So I'm going to give that a mix up so it's all coated on my onions and my peppers. And I'm going to add this little mixture. Now it's got white wine, which I haven't got and I wouldn't use anyway. Um, but I've substituted it for white wine, vinegar and water. So if you Google uh, substitutes for anything, there's always something you can substitute it with. So it's white wine, like I said, it's red wine, vinegar, water, tomato ketchup and soy sauce. So I'm going to add that to my peppers and my onions. So the tomato ketchup and the wine will give it the sweet taste. And the rest of the ingredients is your sour taste. And then after that, I'm going to add a teaspoon of ground black pepper, cracked black pepper, oldie. Put that in, mix it up. And because you've got the, the, the flour in it, this will thicken as it's, as it's cooking. Put my pork back in. Get it all cooking. So I'm going to cover that and um, leave it for about 15 minutes. So here is my sweet and sour pepper pork. I'm serving it up on boiled rice. I might be tempted to have a few prawn crackers with it. There you go, sweet and sour pepper pork, delicious.